They say this fire hasn't moved much over the last 24 hours, but the challenge right now is there's actually a fire located in the middle of a swamp that's hard for them to put out. And they say that fire could burn for a while and that could cause visibility issues for drivers because smoke could come onto I-95 or onto Fellsmere Road, County Road 512. Now, the Forest Service says the paths of vegetation that they've cleared are doing their job keeping the fire from spreading. Now, this year has been a very active fire season. Part of the reason why is because our area has had less than half the amount of normal rainfall, rainfall so far this year. Now, while we've seen that before, the Forest Service is reminding everyone to be cautious during this dry season. Now, the dry and windy conditions have helped a couple separate fires ignite over the last day as well. Today, Palm Beach County Fire Rescue was able to put out a small brush fire in Pahokee on Kismet Avenue before it was able to spread to any nearby homes. So no structures were damaged there. And in St. Lucie County yesterday, about 18 miles from the Tree Frog Wildfire, a brush fire at DJ Wilcox Preserve burned about two and a half acres before firefighters were able to put it out. No structures were damaged there, but the preserve is closed until Wednesday. Now back here in Fellsmere, the Forest Service is reminding everyone to avoid hiking on any nearby trails as they continue to try to suppress this fire and this wildfire here, the tree frog fire has not damaged any structures, but the one firefighter who had a minor injury, he's back in the mix, he's doing okay, and he's back out fighting the fire. Reporting live in Felsmere, Steve King, WPBF 25 News.